It is one thing to start a vending machine business and it is completely separate thing to scale a vending machine business. And I see there is a gap in the knowledge that is out there on how to actually scale a vending machine business from a couple candy machines, a couple honor boxes, a couple cranes to 50 plus, 100 plus machines on location, managing inventory, managing clients. And in this video, I wanna go over exactly that, starting and scaling my vending business, some success that I had and even some challenges over the last seven years, almost a decade of building my vending machine business, some things that I've faced as a business owner that I don't want you to face necessarily in the same way. Sit back, relax, we're gonna get into this and I'm gonna teach you guys what you need to do so you can scale your vending business properly to six figures and beyond. I'm gonna start with a challenge that I had when I started just over seven years ago, and that was the fact that I had very little cash. So not having enough cash makes this industry a little harder for some to get into because if you don't have money, you're not gonna be able to buy the best equipment, you're not gonna be able to stock the best products, and you're not gonna be able to manage your time effectively to fill these machines and make good money getting new locations. So that was why three years ago, we started selling honor boxes and have done phenomenally well helping people grow from honor boxes to gumball machines, to mini cranes, to soda and snacks, to whatever you like, but getting your cash flow up is probably the biggest thing in the vending machine business or any business. You need to have cash flow, whether it's your job or another business, if you're gonna start a vending business and you wanna start big and you wanna start with soda and snack machines and get the best account, that's great. But just know those machines cost money, moving them costs money, filling them costs money, putting change in them, credit card reader on them, all this stuff costs money. So that is a challenge that I see a lot of people face. They get into this industry, they try to buy the cheapest machine, they try to buy used machines, they try to buy the cheapest products. Cheap products don't sell as well as good products. Cheap machines don't work as well as good machines and no credit card reader on your machines because they're $400. You're losing 50% of your daily foot traffic usually at most accounts that also use credit cards. So that's kind of one of the challenges. And now we'll kind of switch to the opposite side and tell you about the successes of scaling a vending machine business over seven years is you meet a lot of awesome people. You get to talk to a lot of business owners, a lot of people who are inside of the businesses where you house your vending machines and you kind of give your services and maintain the machines. You develop awesome relationships with these people and that becomes very important as you grow more and more because your reputation in the vending machine industry is probably one of the biggest things that will scale your vending business exponentially because if you do the right thing by your early clients your later clients will come from your early clients and your beginning clients so this is an important thing to remember and getting really down to the nitty and gritty of this if you want to scale a vending business operation and you have the money then the best thing that you need to do is either become a salesperson and start locating cold calling going door to door talking to business owners going to networking events doing certain things things like this, get your name out there, tell people what you're trying to do, understand the market that you're in, what products they want, what kind of demographic you're in. Everywhere across the 50 states of the United States of America, there are different products and different machines that will work in different areas. Depending on where you are, where you're located, you need to learn your demographic better than anyone else. And if I was to come there having seven years in the vending experience, if I came there and you just had a month, you need to know what that demographic expects in terms of products, drinks, and snacks. The easiest way to do this, honestly, is go to your local stop and shops, your local grocery stores, go to your local Sam's Club, BJ's, Costco, Restaurant Depot, go to your local stores like this and see what products they're selling. See what products are selling the most. See what's not left on the shelf. See what they're sold out of. These will give you an idea of what you potentially should sell in your vending machine. And everywhere is different from New York to California to Texas to Missouri. All products have different sell rates and different churn rates and all machines have different kind of revenue rates depending on where you are. And that's just kind of how this works. So I'm not going to get specific into the fact that I'm from New York and you know, we do these products and this, but there are certain products in other states that I know work well that would not work in New York. So kind of figure out and tailor your product selection for your end consumer so that they get the products they want. And when you give customers the product they want, this is another key point. Give customers the product they want, your revenue increases. I see so many people get into the vending business, put whatever product at Sam's Club or BJ's that's the cheapest in that machine and they get no sales and they wonder why. It's not about you at the end of the day. You have to sell what people want. If you're not selling what people want. No one's going to buy what you have in the machine. If you're trying to just sell off certain product and they don't want it, it's not going to work out for you to increase your revenue from that location. So, so I think a lot of people when they enter the vending business, they simply just want, you know, like fat stacks of cash and they just believe that like, Hey, if I can get vending machines on accounts, I can make a lot of money. But that's not the case because most vending machines will not make this much cash in a single month. Unless you are the biggest vendor in your state, in your county, in your city, you're not going to see these kind of pulls. Those type of accounts require excessive commission, excessive inventory, excessive permits, requests for proposals, which are RFPs. If you want to look into these things, these are important things to know as you scale up, but this is a slow churn. As I've done it over seven years, maybe you could do it in five, but 
don't think overnight you're going to become a vending business millionaire or you're going to be making, you know, 15, 20, 30 grand a month from your vending machine business. This stuff, it can happen overnight if you're quick and depending on how aggressive you are and the way you locate and how much cash flow you have in terms of being able to buy machines, you could get there rather quickly. But I'd say give yourself at least three to four years before you think that you could see a hundred thousand dollars a year from your vending machine business. And less, and this is the next point, if you buy a vending business route, you may be able to make this in a single week or in a single month because you bought out someone who basically set the entire business up for you. From A to Z, your business is set up. You have the machine, you have the product, and you have the location. The three pillars of this vending business, product, machine, location. These are the most important things. And placement, of course, but we don't need to get into that for this example. So say you buy a route and you have a couple machines on account, then you're cash flowing from day one, but you still have to pay yourself back. You buy something for five grand, you make 500 that first month, now you're 4,500 or whatever it is after product cost, gas cost, all of that stuff. So there are a lot of ways to kind of go about this industry and there are a lot of ways to start and scale of any business and there are a lot of challenges that will come along the way. But if you have the cash and the right attitude, you could do really well and shout out to Max Tuning because he says the funniest thing. He's a YouTuber as well. As long as you have a positive attitude and more money, anything can be solved. And that's the truth of it. Even in this business, you have a lot of money. If you have a positive attitude, the world will transpire to your needs and wants and what you go after. So if you go after finding multiple accounts, if you go after meeting people at networking events to place vending machines inside their businesses, this is how you got to do it. You have to scale slowly. And you know, I think one of the biggest things that we do when we're younger is we want to scale quick. We want everything now, 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 now. But the biggest thing is successful people get rich over a long period of time. They do the boring tasks for 20, 30 plus years that, you know, no one sees. And then on that 30th year, it's like, wow, they're an overnight success, but that's not true. And if you want to be an overnight success in this business, you can do it. If you have the cash, you find a location, if you find machines and place the product, and you've been watching my videos or watching other videos on this, you can be ready to have your own vending business in a week, two weeks. But you need to make sure you have the transportation in place, location in place, your contracts in place, your products in place, your servicing in place, all of these kind of things so that when you get to a point and challenges arise because you have more accounts than you can handle or you have more products than you even know you have, that's when you know the cascade of your vending business kind of shocks you like, wow, this business is bigger than I am. You know, when you're just starting and it's manageable, it's fine. But once it gets bigger than you are, that's when scaling up any business hits certain points because you start breaking things. You're moving too quick. You're placing too many machines. You know, you can't handle filling up all the machines in a given day at certain times and different times for different locations and different security protocols for different locations. So there's a wide array of things that you could do to scale your vending business. But I think the most important thing, like if you take anything away from this video is to focus on your mindset and your cash flow. If you have these two things properly in place, you'll be able to buy machines when they come up that are good deals. You'll be able to know what a good deal is. And you'll also be able to grow the vending business beyond that because after you get your first account it becomes addicting and you want your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth, and your fifth year. So make sure you're growing your vending business. Make sure you're getting into this business knowing it's a physical asset business. This is not drop shipping. This is not selling digital products online. This is a physical asset business that, you know, these machines break down. You have to maintain them. You are not location free. You can't place a vending machine in Texas and then live in Arkansas. It makes it really hard to maintain and really not so profitable. So know if you're going to place vending machines that place them in an area where you're going to be for five, 10 years. So you can see a return on your investment and kind of just grow from there. I always suggest starting with honor boxes, super cheap cardboard vending machines, place them in restaurants, bars, any type of place where people kind of want a little bite to eat, lollipop candy, and you can make insane profit margins while also helping a cause. If that's not your case, gumball machines, mini cranes, soda and snack machines. These are the bread and butter of the vending industry industry and all of them are growing rapidly. My new book is coming out, Vending Locating Secrets. So I'd like you guys to have that. I'm going to give some free copies away to the first couple people to download it. So I'm very excited to be releasing this book and hopefully this video helped you get a better understanding of what it takes to scale the vending business. Be grateful, be blessed, and I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Peace. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and check the links in the description for more resources.